Okay, hello dear friends, good uh, evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. So the other day I made uh, soya milk yogurt and, uh, and it turned out very smooth. I made soya milk cheese, kind of cheese, drained soya milk yogurt and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite tasty. So now I am doing a video to show you step by step how I do it. So first turn on the fire, pour in the soya milk. So I use this soya milk dough nai. Dou is bean. Nai is milk, soya milk, soya bean milk. And uh, this one is from uh, a China market. I kind of more into it. When you drink it, it uh, does not have uh, that smooth. The, you feel there is no stuffing, no uh, no chemical, no starch. It's pure soya. And uh, in, in 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 a lot of Chinese family, we have this soya milk machine which you put bean in and, um, and uh, uh, it will soak the bean and then blend the bean and then filter the bean, you get soya milk. I am thinking of getting one of those machines because uh, uh, my family member would like to, to drink soya milk, fresh soya milk. So the other day we went to Montreal and um, uh, it was a student district. So we went down, there was a, a Hong Kong restaurant selling breakfast soya milk. And it's exactly like we, we, we ate in China. And, um, and it's from pure soya and it's uh, it's so good, so delicious. And uh, my family said they never get that same flavor uh, other than that place. In supermarket, in grocery store here, you just do not have that kind of soya milk, except you go to China market. Anyway, this one is from pure soya, soya beans, and then made it. I feel it's a... Uh, it's it's um, it's more um, it's more original. You, you feel you almost feel the texture of the beans. And, uh, now let me put them. into refrigerator and uh, just wait until it is getting boiled. I do not need to do anything. It's another lazy, easy cooking and uh, bring it to a boil. And I will use this yogurt starter and um, uh, and um, I have other kind of yogurt starter, but this one works pr Oh, this one, you cannot see it, sorry. I have different kind of yogurt starter, but this one works pretty well. So this time I will use this again. So bring it to a boil and then cool it down. And uh, at the same time, you, you do not want it to, to get burned to the bottom, right? So you can... Um, you can move it a little bit, uh, stir it, yeah, that's the word, stir it a little bit so that it does not uh, get sticky to the bottom. And uh, I make yogurt. One of the big reasons I make, I, I eat yogurt, I can go to store to buy yogurt, but one of the main reasons that uh, I make this yogurt is because uh, 
is because I want to, I want to eat something uh, without getting too much plastic. Imagine each time you buy a yogurt, this small little cup, size of this, every time one little cup. If you drink one cup a day, there will be one plastic. And if you drink uh, two or three a day, very, very quickly you will accumulate so much plastic. It just does not feel good. So I use this little ceramic pot, clay pot. Okay, we are almost there. And I will use this time to chat with you. So, not in a rush, just let it uh, cook. You can cover it up. Since we are waiting here, we can chat about it. I think uh, uh, as I make more and more yogurt, I find something every time, even if I have made a thousand times, yes, Every year, I have made it for 10 years. If every, every day I make one time, that's already 30,000 years, so 30,000 times. Anyway, as I make it, uh, keep on making it, every time is an experience, and uh, every time is a new learning I found. The important thing is temperature. It cannot be too cold. The bacteria is not warm enough. It's in the dormant stage. It's in the sleeping stage. If it is too hot, you just mass murdered all the bacteria, the good bacteria. I want to, uh, uh, when you make it, at this time, I want to boil it so it kills all the ba bad bacteria. There will be no bacteria. This is dead. The yogurt, the, 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 the soya milk, after I boil it, is dead because there is no... Um, it's all too hot. I, I killed every, every uh, living thing's bacteria. And then... There will be only this bacteria in performance. I will put this one in qied, room temperature. Hmm. Let's stir it a little bit. Put it in the room temperature and the bacteria is from here. Okay. Okay, it is boiling and that is good. We stop it. Okay, now we stop it and put into uh, a bowl of cold water so that the, the time to cool down is much faster and there is no time for new bacteria to develop. And uh, that will be good. Okay, I make a cold bowl of water. Okay, now we cool it down, just like that. It will take something like three, four minutes, five minutes will be good. Okay, now it is cool. I will put this in. Okay, now we are good, pour into little uh, yogurt jar. I need one more jar, or maybe two more jars. Perfect. Just right. 
Okay. Cover it up. Then, as usual, we put it into our igloo and then put in hot water. Okay, so then we put in hot water. I already put it in and oh, I can still have a little bit of room to put a few more drops. Okay, fill it until it reaches to the lower bottom, until this edge. You do not want water to get in, right? So it's around 140 uh, cell Fahrenheit, 140 Fahrenheit. And uh, the inside, because the pot is a little bit cold, so it needs the water to heat up the pot. So the ideal temperature is around 110, 120. I get the water a little bit uh, hotter so that it distributes through the clay pot into the inside water. Then cover it up overnight. It will be good. See you tomorrow okay this is the next morning see let me try it wow silky smooth look at it oh, oh sorry i use one hand holding the camera so let's zoom in. Wow, look at it. This is good.